Hi kids, welcome to our session, module 5, day 1. So, we'll uncover the selection, the parable of the rainbow colors by Juan M. Flavier. And for our lesson objectives, you'll be able to use contextual clues in getting the meaning of words. Read intensively to answer specific questions. Scan the selection to know details. And talk about relevant experiences in relating to the text. As you can see, Philippine literature in contemporary period, it named as the rebirth of freedom, 1946 to 1970, wherein the Americans returned in 1945, Filipinos rejoiced, and guerrillas who fled to the mountain joined the liberating American army. On July 4, 1946, the Philippines regained its freedom and the Filipino flag waved joyously alone. The chain were broken. The selection that we're going to uncover is part of this literature. And that's what we call the rebirth of freedom. So we have the full hold of what we call freedom in our country okay and let's have this literary exploration the parable of the rainbow colors by Juan M. Flavier when we talk about parable is a succinct didactic story in prose or verse, which illustrates one or more instructive lessons or principles. Young people like you are sometimes judged as incompetent and foolishly ignorant about what life really is. This notion belittles your inner self to perform well. As you read, the Parable of the Rainbow Colors, written by Juan M. Flavier, you will have the chance to understand how you should defend yourself from being belittled and how you should anchor your strengths to a burdened horizon. The parable will also help you explore your existing powerful characteristics while allowing others to be part of your success. Before we'll read the selection let's have this one setting expectations do you like rainbow what does a rainbow represent in your life and let's have this matching bow cubs denigrate theater critics have been denigrating her acting ability is it likely to cause disagreement, love for one's country, to say unfair comments, very strange or unusual, blatantly and disdainfully proud? What do you think is the answer? You have there a certain clue. Critics. Okay, so to say unfair comments. Next, haughty. The haughty waiter frowned with sarcasm when I asked to be transferred to another table. So, sarcasm. Frowned with sarcasm. Okay. Blatantly and disdainfully proud. And the, the next word is outlandish. My friend plans to go to some for outlandish places to look for rare fern species. So, the clue for this word is rare. And of course, the answer is very strange or unusual. 
patriotism. Her patriotism was so strong that she stopped being a bank manager to serve the community. Okay, let's look first with the clue and then the clue. Okay, serve the community. That's loves for one's country. Correct? And contentious. So there was so much noise and disorder in the room as students discuss a uh, contentious topic on divorce in the Philippines. Okay, so disorder in the room as students discuss much noise. So it means to say likely to cause disagreement. Congratulations. Now let's read the parable of the rainbow colors by Juan F. Flavier. It all started as innocent statements by each of the colors. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate the others. There was even an element of restraint and humility. But as time went on, the colors declaration became stronger and haughty with an overtone which tended to put down the other colors. Their claim became explicit as to who was the best caller. It reached a point when the callers were actually quarreling, said the caller Red. I am the brightest, for Red is the most striking. Why? Life-sustaining blood is called Red. I represent courage and bravery. Even love symbols such as heart and roses are called Red. The caller Yellow retorted. What can be brighter than my yellow exemplified by the sun? I am the color of gaiety and of warmth. Without me, only the eye-glaring ones re remain. What outlandish claims? Interposed the color orange. Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am more important because I represent health and strength. Look at the ripe fruits and vegetables. They are predominantly orange. Well, if you are talking about vegetables and leaves, you're referring to my color, declared the color green. I am the symbol of life. All the tribes in the fields and forests is the greenery I provide. I am the most important color. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it shouted. What can be more expansive than the sky and the seas? You forget that the furthest skies and the deepest seas are blue? I represent patriotism. I stand for the depth of feelings and extensive spaces. The color indigo came out with a statement. It talk about white areas. I hope you realize the largest area in the world is silence. And I represent that dimension with my color. It means thoughtfulness. It is prayer expressed in the deepest of feelings. Aha! You forget the pomp of royalty and power is violet, shouted the caller. I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? Suddenly, the rain interrupted the continuous exchange of arguments. You are probably all wrong and all right. Yes, you have all your unique features, but all of you have a special role. And more importantly, you need each other to give the mixed colors of beauty. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, a strip of colors will appear in the sky. You will appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will then represent cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappeared. If you were one of the colors, what would you be and why? If rain had not interfered, what do you think will happen? Why do you think rain emphasized the need for cooperation? How will you encourage others to cooperate in the activities in your school or in your community? In the parable of the rainbow colors, cooperation and responsibility were greatly emphasized. It was the rain which reminded the rainbow colors to stop crawling and to work together instead. Learners are highly encouraged to do the same and to understand that despite individual difference, people can go together as one. And from there, we can achieve better results in any situation. That ends our 
topic. And I hope that you've learned something about the Parable of the Rainbow Colors by Juan F. Flavier. Don't forget to answer the given questions in your notebook. And I'll see you on our virtual class. Bye!